Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. Yo, what's up? You doing good this morning? Hello, hello. What's up, Barbie? What's up, Dan? What's up, Joyster? What's up, Drake? <laughs> hey, nerd. Oh, what up, nerd? <laughs> good morning, Brock. How are you? Good morning. How is everyone today? I hope you're doing amazing. Oh, good, Debbie. Good. Good morning, Wildland. How are you? Good morning, Leanne. Good morning, Joyster. How are you? Letting y'all get in here a little bit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As y'all see, I've got the Colt Fools up here. Uh, this is what I've collected so far. They didn't have a stitches one in the size that I wanted, and I still got to get the Chris FX. So I've got to cut and one more. So I've got I got like two more to go. So as soon as I as soon as I I'm gonna have to probably order them offline because like damn it I can't find them. So I went down to the Spencers again. I, we're gonna talk about Spencers today and how about how how disappointed I am with Spencers gifts and how they have dropped the ball on this entire shirt release and everything so good morning sweet good morning jason good morning bones what's up bones is in the hair star days and gentlemen love bones so we're going to talk about that a little bit chris big big chris hearts did a great job on the shirts and the website's up you can order from the website and all that good stuff but now the deal was they were supposed to come out at spencer's gifts across the united states and they were supposed to have a display it was supposed to be nice you go in you ask for cult of fools they knew what they were but the truth is Spencer's Gifts has really dropped the ball, and and I don't care if y'all tag them in this because I'm pretty upset with it. Uh, Q is going to call corporate on mon on uh, Monday, but uh, or is it today? I don't even know what today is. Um, but it really pissed me off because I keep getting all these messages from people that hey, I went to Spencer's Gifts and they didn't have the shirts, or I went to Spencer's Gifts and they didn't know what the shirts were. Uh, I had a couple of people that went and there people were like, no, we don't have those, and they dug around and found them hidden behind other. Oh, we just thought those were some clown shirts. We had no idea. So like corporate and the individual management of the Spencer's gift stores really dropped the ball. Uh, for example, um, Willie and Relic went to uh, Willie and Relic went to two places and did live feeds and sold the store out of of the shirts. And um, uh, Nick Crum just went yesterday to the gall gallery, the same mall that that Relic was at like four days ago, five days ago, whatever it was and they had the shirts buried and didn't know what he was talking about like are you serious like it's not every day you have two clowns come down and sell your damn uh, an entire line out of your store you know what i'm saying so yeah the spencers really dropped the ball i'm not happy with them at all but i know that uh chris and q are working on making it better i haven't checked the spencer by neck of woods yet it's a bit of a drive to get to the mall where i am yeah I i'm gonna tell you right now buy them offline Get them offline. I, I'm, I used to be a big supporter of Spencer's, but after the way they've handled the, the shirts and everything, I wouldn't tell people to go to Spencer's. I'd just say buy them offline. Get them from the cultoffools.com. Go to Cult of Fools and and, uh, and then get them from there. So I still got a couple to go. And as you see, I am going to collect them all, but my Spencer's dropped the ball. The one that I went to and went live on, I go back and they had all the shirts. I was going to do a live the other day when I did the face reveal. They had all the shirts on one little peg, like a peg about this long, crammed on one one peg, and then had another shirt in front of them. I had to find them, and then like I went and talked to the manager, and I was like, "This is this is this is crazy. You've got the cards to put them on the wall. You've got an entire rack that you could put them on, like you had before when corporate told you I was coming. Now you didn't know I was coming, so you cram them all on one little rack. Oh, well, I, we needed the space. No, you didn't need the space. You have a whole freaking store. Uh, you know what I mean?" And I know they got a load plan. Most most stores have a load plan of where they're supposed to be. And uh, how, how do you have five or six Spencers that has it right? With them, the, the placards are on the wall. They're where they're supposed to be so you can find them. And other Spencers have them just shoved underneath other shirts or shoved in the back or shoved in the sack. Don't even know what the hell they are. So yeah, Spencers can really suck it. If you guys want to get a Cult of Fools shirt, I suggest y'all go to cultofools.com and order one there. No hassle, no bullshit. You get it shipped straight to your door. Uh, there are clowns that have purple and black. I must have missed something. They're just prejudice of the clowns. I know, right? Funny bones. I know. They're 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 being they're, they're being ridiculous. 
the amount of messages that I've received both on my account and on the Cult of Fools page about the Spencer's dropping the ball or the management of Spencer's dropping the ball is is ridiculous. I'm talking about one out of every, uh, I'm not even going to say, I'm going to say four out of every five people have had issues going to Spencer's and getting the shirt. They're there. They are there. But when you go there, you don't walk in and go, hey, I'm looking for the Cult of Fools clown shirts. You have to say, I need the Big Chris Arts Cult of Fools clown shirts. Then shake your head, walk away from them, and go look for yourself. That's how you find them. Um, I've watched live feeds. People have had live feeds where they walk in. Hey, I'm looking for the clown shirts, the Cult of Fools clown shirts. And they're like, what? Where are those? Let me go look and see if it's in the back. Um, I don't know. And then, of course, sitting out there, find them. Good morning, Carnage. You know what I mean? So they're very unknowledgeable about the products in their store. And um, and now you see why it's a, it's a, it's dying. Malls are dying all over the world because they're hiring people and they don't train them. They don't teach them what's coming out, what's in their store. You should have some basic knowledge of your job, I would say. So if you want a shirt, a Cult of Fools shirt, go to cultofools.com. Cult of Fools, up there, cultofools.com. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you is about makeup. I've had a lot of questions here lately about makeup. Let me pull this up right here. So this is my other camera. Here's my, there's my hand. There's my hand. So this is, this is uh, my, going to be my product camera. I told y'all that I'm, my next set of videos and the reason I did the face reveal is because I'm going to be putting prosthetics on and teaching people how to put prosthetics on, what makeups to use and so on and so forth. And I couldn't do that if I had prosthetics, prosthetics on my face. You follow what I'm saying? So I wanted to show, go, showcase a couple things just to, just to start this off. And one of my main questions that I'm asked is what makeup do I use? You know what I mean? It's too early for you? Hell yeah, I know, right? Well, I use a couple different types of makeup, but my predominant makeup I use is a Paradise uh, Miron. Uh, you can get it off Amazon. This is what the package looks like. Um, and I have, I know this is dirty, but it's got powder all over it. But it comes in a little cake form about like so that's blue all right and it's water-based you literally take your brush just a brush just simply simple brush just like this regular old brush okay and uh, let me get where i can see it there you go like a regular old brush dip it in your water rub it around in there and then paint on your face very simple and it comes off with um with um regular old makeup wipes i want to do products this will be a good learning point. Oh yes, I, absolutely. Yeah, we're. I want to. This. That's the reason I need. I needed to do the face reveals because I can't put prosthetics on it and have and have the entire feed going. Oh my God, I see your face. So, uh, I should call Spencer's and find out they got called. Yeah, absolutely. If you are going to go to the Spencer's, then you need to call them. Make sure that they have the Big Chris Arts Call to Fools shirts. And what shirts do they have? Make them learn what they have in the store. And then go down there if you're going to do that. But I suggest just buying it off the place. Yes, you see my face. Wyland, I did a face reveal two days ago. Three days ago, something like that. Because the next series of videos that I'm going to be doing is uh, you, you are going to have to see my face in order to see me put the prosthetics on. All right? I'm going to be teaching how to put prosthetics on and what type of makeups to use. So the next thing I wanted to talk about, I showed you the Paradise uh, makeup. This is on Amazon. It is not expensive. And it's like I said, it's a water-based Easy to go on, easy to take off. The next thing is pro adhesive, Prosade by Graft to DN. Okay. Um, this product right here is what we use to put is what I use to put the prosthetics on. Now you can put on, um, you can put on, um, what spirit gum and some other things, but Prosade is made for prosthetics. So it's uh it's it's really easy to use they also have a I, I didn't pull it out here it's still in the it's still in the makeup room but i had it's a, they have a pro aid or pro adhesive uh remover as well well thank you i'm glad you love my face i love my face too god gave it to me and it's the only one i have and well i mean i have some other ones but they're in the fridge chilling so uh this is what i'm stuck with for today all right so anyway i have lots of other faces on the wall too so when we get started with these videos and these video uh, clips, I'm going to be doing them on TikTok, on YouTube, and on here. I'll be doing live videos uh, helping people uh, with prosthetics and makeup and what to buy, what, what not to buy. You know what I mean? You're, 
If you go to Party City, you will find cream makeup like this in tubes. Cream makeup is not bad. Some people, some people prefer cream makeup and then powdering it later. I don't. I don't like the way the cream dries on my face. I don't like it. But we'll go over all of these. We're gonna, we're gonna do. I'll never do a face when nobody looks at ten pounds of shit in a five pound. <laughs> Uh, funny bones, I think you're one of the most handsomest. This 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 pile of bones there is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, so we're gonna be going over the different types of makeup. We'll be going over, uh, not today, but I'm just giving y'all a prefix. Liquid latex, makeups, sponges, uh, contacts, glues, nail glues, um, makeup, adhesives, different prosthetic companies. Uh, who stays open year round where you can get your 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 stuff year round so it's gonna be kind of fun um i also want to go over stuff like you know the magic set and um which i'll put that up here too uh let's see here where's my set that right there because you can see it's clear uh i'm gonna put it right over here there we go so anyway I'll be going, like I said, good morning, Casey, good morning. We're gonna be going over um, the different colors they have from, I already showed you the blue, but like here's the green and here's the red, uh, Miron Paradise. They also have palettes that you can get, which is what I use for my eyes. I use the Brazil palette, which if I was a little more prepared, I, I don't know if I was going to show this or not today, but um, maybe save it for another day, but I'll show it, go ahead and show it. I use a Take Me to Brazil palette, okay? And on this palette, you know, you open it up, it's like a little travel kit, it's got a little piece of plastic in it, a mirror. It's got a crap ton of colors, and they're all same, mirror, mirror on makeup, water-based. You can throw this in, it does have white and black on there too, so... If you're doing a basic clown face and you need to just hop on the road, but you're, you're going to do some other things, it's real simple to put in there. Now, I have used this cake right here of white. I have used, It's almost gone, but I have used this thing for almost a year and a half now, and we used it at one of the conventions on, like, everybody around me. So, like, it's been used a lot. So this stuff doesn't just, you know, you don't just buy it and, like, it's one season use. This stuff will last you a pretty good while, especially if you take care of it. Good morning, Ann Pence. Good morning, good morning. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be talking about Cult of Fools in the future. We're going to be talking about Cult of Fools with the shirts and the and the merchandise coming out. What it's going to be doing. What's, what it's going to be doing. If y'all notice, I have the iPad here so I can read your comments up close because I have such an issue reading comments way over there. So, anyway, let me take a couple of some nicotine. Y'all get y'all something to drink. Is you some, some, some coffee or something? He used Snazaru for his underpaint when I do my mask, and then Mirror on Clown White for my face paint when I'm not using my mask. I'll see my clown nose from Professional Clown Nose Distributor. Um, absolutely, uh, Bones, message me about the Snazaroo makeup, and I will I will buy some and order some and check it out. Because um, the one thing that I've noticed when people come into this industry, they don't have anywhere to go. They're like, well, what makeup do you use? Where do you get your outfit? Where did you get your mask? Where did you get this? Where did you get that? And I put links up on my website to most of like everything that I use, but it's still not like it's not mainstream known and there's a lot of people out there that really want to get into the entertaining business but don't know so i really want to help try to try to get people the knowledge that they need um i have a midnight mayhem apparel uh abaddon one costume over here uh on abaddon which you can't see right now it's covered with a, with a camera um but i also have a suit and i also have other clothes that i put together all the all, all to my you know uh myself off of amazon uh, you like the Snazaroo black too? Yeah, y'all y'all send me a, somebody send me a link to the Snazaroo and I will definitely buy some and check it out. That way we can do an on live like presentation of the different makeups. I will be showing also different techniques for applying makeups between brush and sponge and everything else. And well, um, we're gonna sharpen our makeup skills together. We have a year until next Halloween to really get all this together. So the whole idea is to take a year work on makeup and get everything you know 
like we're gonna really do dive into character development you know through prosthetics makeup costumes so on and so forth so the morning feed is still going to be about positivity in the universe and and throwing out that positive vibe trying to get rid of some of that negative space out of your life but we're also going to do something that's a little more mainstream with the makeups and and the like i said the prospects and learning and everything we're going to kind of go through it all and like I said before, the reason I can't, I, I, I revealed my face is because I can't put prosthetics on on top of prosthetics. And I really want to help y'all learn this process. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You like using your makeup that time? Uh, Clown white, I have, it's very thick and cakey. That's, yes. Um, I have some Miron cream white clown makeup. I don't think I have it in here. Uh, no, I don't have it. Oh. Setting powder. Setting powder. Yeah, I just have setting powder. I have it in the back. I have it in the makeup room. So, but I will go over that. I'm gonna go over that makeup too. The the, the cream based um, Gratvian or the cream based paints and how thick they are and how you have to powder the hell out of them to get them to dry, so on and so forth. When you use the Miron Paradise, which is what I use, of course. But I said is uh you know you put it on and when it's dry it's dry I mean you can reach up and grab your face wipe your face like this and as long as you're not sweating it's not gonna come off you know what I mean but it is water based and so if you sweat a lot it will run uh Casey call to fools.com uh go to call to fools.com and order one and if you have any issues just let me know and I'll send you one of mine so use snazaroo black palette on Amazon. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see. Um, the one thing that I do like about uh, how we're using it before compared to what you've learned. Oh, um, that's a good question. Uh, Joyce, your answer, funny bones this is a really good question. So one of the things that I like about the Miron is, especially the palette that I have, is I can blend the colors real nicely because they're a water base and they're so easy to put on with the with the brushes. Uh, if I want to go from the red under my eyes and come down into the black and then and then go out to the white, I can blend it, and then also I can get that runny, that uh, you know that look that, that that everybody knows with Abaddon. I can get that look by taking a little bit of water and just dabbing it on my finger and then touching it and let it run just a little bit. It gets that natural, cool little run look to it. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more water right here. I, I draw a line. Down my face and then I do a little bit of water and it gets that runny look and then I put a little bit more on top of it and just kill it in which we're gonna go over that we're gonna go all of the how to do the Abaddon makeup I might even do a tutorial on how to do funny bones makeup because funny bones has an amazing amazing makeup and I'm going to do I've been wanting to I just hadn't I've got to buy the nose and then I'm gonna do a funny bones makeup too so my hair is not quite as long as his but uh, I do have the Mohawk so we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out we're gonna make it work All right, yeah, so when you're wearing a mask, makeup is pretty easy. Uh, it's it's a lot it's a lot easier than doing prosthetics or, or doing your full face paint. And if y'all are on TikTok at all and you're following any monsters or any people on TikTok, you'll know that some of their makeup is spectacular. It is just totally on point. It takes them hours to do it because it is so good. And we're going to be learning these techniques over time. Um, but uh, when you do your mask, like if I'm putting on my mask here, like here's here's my uh, one of my masks that y'all know me for. It's my Chris FX Stitches mask. Oh, I'm over here. There we go. It's this one right here. I've worn in New Orleans quite often and everything. Well, the openings are the only part you have to worry about. You know, the mouth opening and the eye opening. So you're going to put the black makeup, the dark makeup on underneath the mask. I even do my nostrils a little bit in case I look up because I do have my nostrils cut out of the of the mask so um, I can breathe because I have such horrible sinuses. We'll also go over mask care and I did this on purpose. I always keep my mask clean but do y'all see how dirty this mask is right now? I did this on purpose all right because I'm going to go a tutorial on how to clean your mask. That's makeup in there. It should all be that color right there. There should be no black in there. So that black is all makeup. So we're gonna go over mask care and um, mask cleanup, how to you know, powder your latex, so on and so forth to keep your mask a top shape. Cause you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars for a mask and then have it degrade in a couple years.
So yeah, we're gonna be taking care of all that. So yeah, call to fulls. The makeup over here, when you see my hand, makeup over here, we're gonna be going over the prosthetics, the prosade. Uh, we're gonna do the, the magic set, the Miron uh, group. I'll get that Snazaroo and we'll go over that makeup as well and talk about that and see which ones work best. Now also, different makeups are going to work better on different people. Like for example, there are people out there that, that will they hate water-based, they like cream-based because cream does not run when you get wet, you know? Uh, it's not going to probably get another clown mask next month. I, I have tons of clown masks. I have uh, four Chris FX masks and a couple of custom masks. I have a mask that was custom from Italy, another one custom from the UK. I have tons of Abaddon masks. Um, and I do like wearing them and I do them uh, But in order for me to do this next series like I said of how to apply all the the prosthetics and everything I needed a pretty face. I had to work up with a pretty face It kicks on to feel smooth once it's dry I use a hair dryer it helps it set quicker if you want a better set use hairspray after you apply the paint then use the hair dryer It's it'll hardly budge. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna go go over. Um, there's a um Techniques like flinch, trimmers, uh, heckles and twitch, and some of the techniques that they use as well with a PAX paint. Um, it's it's a PAX paint, um, pro adhesive PAX paint. So it's actually an adhesive, and it's a and it's a it's, it's PAX paint. Instead of makeup, they actually paint their face, and it's hell to get off. It's hell, but it looks really good. Um, Casey, that is my, uh, baby doll, my, my baby Abaddon, which is over back there somewhere. Send me a picture of it. Yeah. C uh, Cuddly Creatures made an, a, made an Abaddon doll for me. Uh, makes my ass been trying to get him, get his, I'm, I'm the haunted tree. Um, link me everything. If y'all have stuff you want me to look at, or you want me to review and, and check out, then just message it to me. Talk to your friends and um, and let me know what's up. You know what I mean? Like, get them to message me. Send me some samples and we'll go over them in the morning or in the afternoon feeds. We're going to be doing afternoon feeds here pretty soon. Or more likely, we'll probably do morning lives and then we'll do afternoon videos. Uh, yeah, makeup lessons. Uh, Cherry Snot. We're going to be doing makeup lessons. Uh, uh, foam latex um, tutorials. Uh, makeup tutorials. What you use where to get outfits from, where to get costumes, how to develop your character. Um, we're gonna try to help the, um... oh, I bet you are tired, dude. You, you were live last night for a while. Uh, we're gonna try to help people get their characters to the next level. That's what we're gonna do over the next year until Halloween. Uh, do they make prosthetics and silicone? I'm allergic to latex. They do make a, they do make a gel silicone prosthetic. They make a, uh, a gel prosthetic silicone prosthetic they make all kinds so we're gonna go over all of this stuff uh over the next year and uh like i said application painting airbrushing uh i'm even i'm even gonna get with uh chris and a couple other people we're gonna talk about how they make masks how to do full face um uh molds we we'll do full face and full head molds uh mask making silicone mask making um Latex mask making, uh, foam latex mask making. We're gonna go. We're gonna go over everything over the next year. Level up, Joyster is coming. Hell yeah! It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And like I said, this morning I went over uh, this stuff. I'm gonna go over it again in a minute. The stuff over here, where my hand, where my fingers is, up there, right up there, yep, right there. We're gonna go over that stuff again in a little bit. Let's start. I'll help you out if you want. Hell yeah. I'm always up for help, Cherry. Absolutely. Cherry makes some of the, some, some uh, prosthetics as well. She makes gel prosthetics. So we're going to go over brushes and stuff too. And I'm telling y'all what. You don't need. Let me just pull this out. And you don't need a $150 Ulta brush kit. Okay. This, this is a $150 Ulta brush, brush kit. I've used it for my powder setting only. Um, and then I bought a, another one. Uh, this one, that's what I've been using for my powder setting now, which was a $3 Walmart brush. Uh, and then my regular brushes are literally dollar store brushes. Like they're, they're, they're really 
cheap little and they're makeup brushes they're not paint brushes they're makeup brushes but they're really they were really cheap and they work really well we'll go over all that stuff over time <laughs> i have to sit down and i have to figure out um yeah gel latex molds etc yeah J sherry does everything we're gonna work together i'm gonna get her to send me some stuff too so we can uh so we can review it and talk about how to, how to properly apply it how to properly paint them the whole nine yards make up the whole nine yards but uh i've got to i've got to get like a syllabus written up on what i want to do and how i want to do it over the next year so that is what we've got going on right now um we've got a lot of stuff that is going to be happening good morning trixie um oh and that's another thing too if you see someone in the chat room with you all these people are like-minded make friends um they have information just as much as i do um and they're more than willing to help every one of y'all are amazing people so yeah so we're going to go over all of the different stuff between the cult of fools between makeup between foam latex appliances regular appliances mass making make uh paint uh, the whole nine yards we're gonna go everything we're gonna do that over the next year and the reason i like i said for the new people coming in the reason i did the face reveal the other day is because i can't teach you how to put face prosthetics on if i have face prosthetics on it doesn't work that way so you needed to see my ugly mug so you can see how i make myself into beautiful abaddon um, I will still be doing Abaddon feeds. And now I want you to understand as an entertainer, when I come on as Abaddon, I'm Abaddon. When I come on as Todd, I'm Todd. I'm Abaddon Apollyon. I'm the actor behind Abaddon Apollyon. Um, and I really want to think, I think I can really help push this whole, 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 you know, uh, this fan base to the next level. You know what I mean? Which is what I want to do. So. We're going to talk about other, we're going to talk about mask companies too, because I've got some more masks coming in and we're going to talk about the quality of some of these masks, how long it takes them to get all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you need me to do a tutorial sometimes, well, yeah, I'm going to do a collaboration. I'm going to do a collaboration. I want to get other people, other, uh, other entertainers involved and work this out to where we can really help that if somebody wants to come in, let's say some kid wants to come in and say, Hey, I really want to be like relic or I really want to be like, like, uh, you know, Abaddon, Relic, or, or Creep, Creepy, or, or Willy Vodka, um, we can help them, to, you know, with what makeups to get, what prosthetics to get, what, uh, where to get outfits from, how to put together a costume, how to get your voice together, how to get your, your persona together, and how to build your character, and not, you know, and not only how to build your character, but how to do it in a way that, that is, is productful to society, and, and to help the group. You know, there are a lot of people out there that say, hi, hey, I can do this, and they get on there, and then they're uh, like, I can't watch them if my child is in the room. You know what I'm saying? I can't watch them if, uh, if you know, uh, I have friends in the room because I'm, I'm afraid of what they might say. You know what I mean? Um, there's ways to be entertaining, and then there's ways to be entertaining to adults. You follow what I'm saying? And there's a lot of plus 18 shows out there, and I respect them. They're all great and hunky-dory. Uh, my show I'm gonna try to keep down to where your kids can walk in the room and you don't have to worry about it if Abaddon's on the on the microphone you know what I mean that's what we're gonna hope to hope to get to I still mess up and cuss every once in a while but I'm trying to get better at that so let's uh let's talk about our positive thing for the day real quick and then we'll go back into the little spiel um I, and I and I, and I and I don't have it pulled up how about that how about that? I'm supposed to have it pulled up, but I don't because, you know. All right, so real quick on the positivity note, we're gonna do this real fast because you guys need to hear it, okay? Number one, beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negativity, all right? When you start ridding yourself of the negative people in your life and the negative stuff in your life, positive and beautiful things will happen to you. Um, that's the way the universe works, okay? when someone comes on your live feed or comes into your room or comes into your life or comes into your house or meets you on the road it doesn't matter where it is when someone comes at you aggressive and rude and nasty don't settle for it don't let it you know what i'm saying don't let it happen and you don't have to be rude you don't have to be mean back or anything like that you can simply look at someone and go you're not going to speak to me that way if you're online it's even simpler because you're like uh no you're not going to speak to me that way have a nice day and you block them and once you block them, 
they no longer exist to you. They're gone. They're out of this universe. Their negativity will no longer ever affect you in this world. And I don't care who it is. Just move on. Because their negativity that they're bringing to you, if you let it seep inside, then you're going to you're going to make someone else pay for their mistake. In other words, if you get bombarded with a bunch of trolls and a bunch of assholes and they're in your room and they're talking crap and blah 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 and you let that affect you and you get in bad mood then everybody you deal with for the rest of the day is going to get the bad mood you instead of the good mood you so it's a lot easier to just block them and move on if you're in life you simply sit and go you're not going to talk to me that that way um you don't have to be mean about it you're just, um no that's not going to happen you're not going to talk to me that way you're not going to call me that name you're not going to talk to me that way it's not going to happen um, you, I will remove myself from you um, because you no longer deserve my respect. You no longer have my respect and you are no longer a part of my life. Goodbye. And you walk away. It's just like blocking them on the internet, but it's a little harder because you have to walk away from people that you thought you cared for um, or you thought cared for you. But I promise you, if you allow someone to speak to you disrespectful one time, it will become the normal. Um, my big thing is the B word. You know how you have friends that are like, you know, what's up, biatch, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, you're not going to speak to me that way because I'm not that way. And if you do it and I allow you to do it and someone else hears it, then they're going to do it. And then someone else is going to hear it and then they're going to do it. And someone else is going to, that's not going to be a repetition for me. The way you let someone speak to you one time will become the normal. Stand up for yourself because you're worth it. You are the most worthy person in your life. To you you understand what i'm saying you're worth it so that's that part today i want to talk about that for a second um i'm gonna take a vape break let y'all sink that in your head a little bit and talk about it in the uh in the uh chat room uh Gotta have my little nicotine. Gotta have it. We're gonna take a sip of tea too. Why not? Why not? We're gonna splurge on our break. Oh god, I hear myself. I never muted my thing. Hold on. Oh god. Y'all probably hear that twice. You want respect, you show respect. That's absolutely correct. That's that's absolutely correct. One hundred percent. But also there are people out there that you do not need to respect until they earn it. There are people out there that need they get too comfortable with disrespecting their friends. Me and Casey were talking about this the other day because when we were younger, we used to do it all the time. We were like, oh, what's up, homo? You know, blah, 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 blah. We got used because we were playing. We thought it was fun. I'm going to pick on you. If I'm picking on you, I like you. You know what I mean? Well, as we got older, we realized that that's just silly. You know, we don't need to do that. If I like you, I'm going to show you respect. If I if I enjoy your company, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to put you down to to be there to enjoy that company i'm going to rise above that and be a better person um and i've in, i've realized in case you realize we have this talk that once we set aside those those ways we enjoyed life a little bit better it was a little less stressful for us we were able to communicate and uh and have more more value in our conversation with our friends when we stopped picking on them does that make sense I just said I get it you know there's some people that think it's cute because we used to think it was cute we used to absolutely think it was cute to call each other homo gay hey what's up fag? you know it's not girls calling each other bitches and stuff like that it's not cute it's it shows a lack of of I can't say a lack of human or of, uh, of English language but I mean when you resort to basic language techniques you you kind of limit yourself and you don't want to limit yourself you want to rise above you know what i mean you want to raise up i keep seeing women talk about empowering each other but then they turn around and call each other bitches and it's like wait hold up you're you're being contradictive to yourself if you want to empower those amazing beautiful strong women in your life and there they are let's use trixie for example trixie is an amazing entertainer she is a strong individual that will probably cut you if you if you uh, look at her sideways, but at the same amount of respect, she deserves respect. If she empowers another person and she goes, hey, I'm a powerful female, 
and I think you're a powerful female, do you think she's going to disrespect them? No, that's not going to happen because you, you treat each other uh, with what level you think you are. So we talked about this the other day too. We talked about how crazy it is that when, when you meet someone, they're like, what do you do for a living? I, I hate that because you're like, if I tell you what I do for a living, you're going to classify me in a, in a level of superiority or inferiority. If I say that I'm a janitor, you're going to put me down here. But if I say I'm a CEO of a 500 company, you're going to put me up here in the way you think. It shouldn't matter what I do for a living. It's I have a job, you know. Now, I have a good job. I have two good jobs. But that doesn't make me better than anyone. It doesn't mean that I deserve more respect than anyone. You know what I'm saying? I don't tolerate homophobic or racist people. I know. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have to. Yeah, treat someone better than you want to be treated. That's an excellent way to put it, Casey. That is, is exactly right. That is that right? And and looking for something positive in each day, even if even if some days you have to look a little bit harder, that's very important too, because you have to put your faith and your love and your respect into yourself before you can push it out in the world properly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the problem that we have in this in this universe is you know and i'm just i'm going off the flyer i'm just i'm open speaking this is i have no script this is just me um a lot of problem we have in this world today is self-worth we don't think we're worthy we don't think we're worthy of love we don't think we're lovey of uh, worthy of respect or kindness or you know somebody shoots you over a little bit of money or something oh man why did you i'm not i don't deserve this i don't deserve this when you really are, if someone does something for you out of kindness or out of love, then to them, you deserve it. And to you, you, you should feel some type of worth. You know what I mean? So that's one of the problems in this world. And we as a group, as a people, as friends should help overcome that. I can't help everybody in the world, but I can help you guys. If I can, hopefully I can help you guys. And the, maybe the knowledge that I pass on to you, you can help your children or one of your friends. Maybe the knowledge you pass on to them can help someone else. You know what I mean? It's it's all about how do you want to be treated in this world? How do you want to be looked at in this world? How do you want to be remembered in this world? You know? Um, how do you want to feel about yourself in the morning when you wake up? I wake up with a smile on my face unless my bones are hurting, which is a lot. I mean, like, my back is killing me today. That's why I'm sitting so weird. My back is absolutely killing me today. But I still woke up with a smile on my face. Because I am in charge of how I feel. And today I'm choosing happiness. Today I'm choosing to be happy. Am I disgusted with the way Spencer's gift has handled the, the release of the shirts? Yes, I am. Am I disgusted the way that the staff at Spencer Gifts don't have the knowledge of their products like they should? Yes, I am. Am I angry with them? Yes, I am. But I still choose to be happy. You know what I mean? Money, color, or sexual preference doesn't make a person. So it's sad society sets. And society does. You're absolutely right, Cherry Snot. Society does. Society is a group, and we do it unknowingly. For example, I've said this before, and I still have a problem with it. I'm still trying to self-correct myself. When we call uh, girls, women, girls, okay? At a, you wouldn't go up to a guy and be like, hey, that boy over there, you know, or we're, you're talking to your friend and that boy over there, unless you're talking about a, a male child, right? But yet we have no problem being in a bar and going, hey, look at those girls over there. It's a, it's a way of, of keeping the female under the thumb. Basically, I don't know how to say it right. Um, when a when a when a girl or a child becomes a woman, we should address them as women. We should look at them as 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 women and not girls anymore. And I think hundreds of years of male-driven society has kept us from, uh, has given us terminology that psychologically does that it kind of holds them down and I, and I really I really don't like that so I've been working really hard on not calling women girls I know it's silly it's it's nothing you're like you're like oh my god that's so dumb but to me it's not to me it's very important that if I look at a woman who is over puberty and is as as no longer a girl then I want to address them as a woman because that's what they are they are a woman 
and women have jobs and have credit scores and have cars and have bills and have houses and have kids and have everything. Why would you call someone that has all that a girl? I don't get it. Good morning, Heather. Just like you wouldn't call a man a boy. It's it's disrespectful. So it's little things like that that we talk about in the morning feeds that I'm hoping to help spread the word to everyone that, you know, not showing respect it's deep. It's a deep subject. You really have to dig into it and really self look in yourself, self-respect and um, self-respect, uh, self reflect and look at yourself. And what do I do that helps push along the stereotypical attitude? You know what I mean? You know, you can call me a girl. I want to keep my youth. Well, you know, there's sometimes, there's sometimes where you're going to call somebody baby girl or something like that. I call, I've got, a, I got a friend that I call baby girl and it's not because I'm, I'm being disrespectful to her because she is a woman, but y'all understand what that means when a man calls a girl a baby girl. Anymore, it's disrespectful to call her. You don't know, Casey. You, I, 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 that shit still confuses the shit out of me. I grew up in a society where girls had vaginas, boys had penises. Uh, now it's the there's genders for everything. There's freaking there's a there's a gender for everything. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I try not to get into that whole argument because it's very confusing to me. Um, for the simple fact that if they don't tell you, if they you know, when you walk up and you're like, hi, how are you, you know, ma'am or whatever, oh, it's, sir, it's ma'am. It's like, yo, you didn't tell me. I didn't know. Now I know. Piss off. I'm going to stay away from you because <laughs> you've, you've got problems. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So it's really hard, but we can still start the base of the respect with how we address each other. You follow what I'm saying? So... If somebody comes to me and says, hey, like, for example, uh, um, Jeanette's daughter told me on Halloween that she she feels more like a boy. And I said, OK, so what's up, nephew? I don't care. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're bi or pan or tran or or or, or fan or or any of those ands. I don't care. I don't care what you are. Just tell me. Talk to me. Talk to me like I'm human. Let me know what's going on. And we had the uh, conversation about the bathrooms. And I'm like, oh, hold up. <laughs> you don't want to have this conversation with me. Because if I see a grown-ass man wearing a dress, follow my 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 daughter into the bathroom, at ten year, my 10-year-old daughter in the bathroom, he's probably going to get his ass kicked. And it's not because he's a grown-ass man wearing a dress. I don't care. You can do whatever you want to do. You, you can. But I don't know you. And there are a lot of freaks in the world. And I'm here to protect my daughter. So if I know the person and they're and, and, and I know Bob and Bob likes wearing dresses and Bob's a girl and girl, Bob's now Susan or whatever the hell it may be. And and I know I'm I'm cool with that. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I know that the, the situation because I know them. You know what I mean? But if I don't know you, no, no, bro. Not happening. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't care if. See, if my if my son or my daughter tell me they're gay, okay, if, if one of my children come to me and say, you know, I'm gay, it shouldn't be, oh my God, I have a coming out party, I'm so scared, I'm afraid of what my dad's going to think, I'm so on and so forth. I want my child to come home and say, hey, this is my boyfriend, or this is my girlfriend, and I'm going to go, hi, nice to meet you. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care. I don't care as long as they treat my child with respect, kindness, love, and care. Now, if they hurt my child, there's a good chance that I'm going to skull drag them, male, female, I don't care, across the damn driveway. So, because that's my child. So anyway, let's get off this subject, though. Let's get back to the good talk. Later, Crazy. Be good, brother. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. Okay? When you can't find the sunshine, when life is so damn just kicking your fucking ass, excuse my language, I'm sorry, I, I, I said the F word. When it's kicking your butt, you have to be the sunshine. You have, you're surrounded by things that, that have the possibility of making you happy. You have to focus on those things. It's like meditation. You have to focus on those things. If you don't focus on those things, then you're gonna let the negativity win. And if you let the negativity win, then you're just adding to the chaos around you. 
being happy is a choice. You choose to, to, to be angry. You choose to hold on to that anger and that hate and that, that resentment. You choose. You have to choose to let it go. You know what I'm saying? You have to choose to love yourself. You have to choose to love others. And if a person does not deserve your love, then you have to choose to walk away. You cannot hold on to a temporary person and try to make a temporary person a permanent person in your life. It will hurt you. You can't do it. All right, so there's my positivity for the morning. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that it opened your eyes a little bit and makes you feel a little bit better about life. I, I really, truly do believe that each and every one of you are an amazing person, and you have your own gifts and your own your own, you bring your own spark into this world. If y'all watch my TikTok videos, you saw me talking to a young man at the mall. I met this man. He was a decent person and we started talking and it came up. And I, when I don't just talk about this on my morning feeds, when I go out, proof is in the pudding. You watch my videos. When I go out into the world, I treat everyone like this. I talk to them like this because I deserve, I, I, I truly believe that we deserve love, compassion, niceness you know what i mean so let's talk about a couple other things we got 733 already this morning we're going to talk about some other things okay first for the new people that came in here i did a face reveal a couple days ago this is my face hi how are you nice to meet you i'm todd cook which is abaddon apollyon i play abaddon apollyon and multiple different things this is me the reason I did a face reveal is because i'm going to be doing a series of videos here talking about how to apply uh, face prosthetics, about masks, about makeups. Uh, we're going to be talking about this industry and getting everyone up, character development, everything to get up to next year. You see this camera right up here, this camera has got a couple of products in it. We've got our Paradise Maron makeup, which is, this is what the package looks like. Oop, dropped it. That's what the package looks like. You can get this off of Amazon. This is one of the makeups I use. This is pro adhesive. That's what I use to put my foam latex appliances on. And then this is a magic set uh, lining liquid. Um, I'm just showing y'all right now because I'm trying to get everything set up. But over the next year, we're gonna be doing videos on uh, how to properly apply makeups and prosthetics and so on and so forth and really work. I wanna work with people and help them develop their characters. I try to be humble. Thank you so much, sir. I'm so slack on TikTok. You need to go on there more. Yes, you do, Cherry. You you could make some amazing TikToks because you are a funny person. If y'all would like to check out my TikToks, it is monster underscore Abaddon. It's at the bottom, right down there, underneath the iPad. It's monster underscore Abaddon. You can follow me there, check out the videos. And if you message me on there and or send me a sound bite you'd like me to do, I will do the video or I will do that with you is just have to let me know and ask me and I'll be so I'll be so happy to do that with anyone. Um, I think right now I'm sitting just under 4,000 fans on, on there, which is amazing to me because that's happened within the last week. So it's been great. You put positive things out in the universe, positive things will happen to you, you know? So we have some videos coming up. We are gonna start, I gotta make a syllabus. Thank you, Wyland. That's it. Monster underscore Abaddon. Uh, I need to make a syllabus up on how we're going to go about doing these videos. I think we're first we're going to start talking about the foam latex appliances. I have a whole other setup in the another filming setup in the other room with uh, with all of the foam latex, the the airbrush, and all that good stuff. So we'll, we're going to we'll probably start there, and then we'll talk about the different um, items you will need if you plan on putting face prosthetics on. So we'll do that. Uh, Vicky has to go. Take care of one today. You as well, darling. You have a great day. Much love and respect. I have to get my daughter to show me how, how to work it. Yeah, I know, right? I know. You last saw my TikToks? Thanks, man. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun doing them. I had a lot of fun doing them. So yeah, Nick Crumb is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all haven't watched the Nick Crumb show, you need to watch it. He had his game last night. that He did everything, everything for charity. It was beer pong. But it was for charity. It was, it was awesome. He's a really good dude. Uh, he was wearing an Abaddon shirt. Went out and got an Abaddon shirt. I got a picture of him in it. Um, I got a lot of pictures of you guys in the Abaddon shirt. And I, I, I just really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for so much support. I love each and every one of y'all. You have a very special place in my in, in my heart, in my life. 
And if y'all ever need any, anything from me, if you need help, you want something, you need me to do a video, come live with you, whatever the case may be, just let me know. And I'll be happy to do that for you guys. Um, 100%. I'll never forget where I came from. You got 27 followers on TikTok. And you know what, Joyster? I think I was your first one, wasn't I? Ha ha ha. Yeah, there's a lot of people, uh, Cherry, there's a lot of people on here that are just really good entertainers. And Nick is one of them. I like Nick. I'm gonna cheat and do it on my phone and upload? Yeah, that's what I, I mean, I've uploaded a few videos, yeah. Uh, Linda, I loved Elizabeth's Halloween makeup. It was so adorable. I absolutely loved it. Um, anytime y'all have uh, pictures, I love pictures, guys. So if y'all send me pictures of makeup, of costumes, anything makes you happy, sunset, sunrise, I don't care what it is, I love pictures. I don't know how to do Snapchat or TikTok too much. I guess I need to get out of the country like, yeah, girl, you need to, come on, girl, or lady, sorry. I see, look, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. Uh, I will say, uh, my lady, you need to uh, get with the times here. Up, 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 upgrade your life and get you some TikTok. If you haven't seen my videos yet, you can eat code. They're funny. They's funny. <laughs> oh, good gosh. See, look, I'm still learning. I'm still self-correcting myself. You just took a picture of a squirrel? That's awesome. I love squirrels. I actually have uh, some trees planted around the house, planted around out here that uh, attract squirrels So, because I can watch them play because I think they're a hoot watching them play. Uh, I will do a shout-out for her tomorrow. Message me in the morning to remind me, and I will. Uh, everybody, Elizabeth's birthday is tomorrow. Elizabeth is one of my smallest fans. I love her to death. She is so amazing, and her birthday is tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 she'll be six tomorrow. Yes, moist, duh, uh, moist, duh, love it. Moist, duh, my two favorite words. If y'all don't know, that's my two favorite words. Listen, I saw another thing too, uh, Munchy. Munji put a picture out of him wearing an Abaddon shirt. I was so honored, man. That was so awesome because I love Munji. Munji's a Munji's a great entertainer, great costume, great great everything. He's he's uh, that laugh. That laugh is just creepy as hell. I love it. But yeah, he had an Abaddon shirt on too. I was so excited. So I, I got Nick Crumb. I got I got all these people with Abaddon shirts. It's it's so humbling. It's so awesome. Love it. Now I just got to get Heather one. <clears throat> and Kiki Kiki needs one one too. Good morning, May Dust. Good morning. I love May Dust. She is such a sweet, sweet, sweet person. Uh, I have not seen the video of the girl in the squarely costume. You have to, you have to shoot that to me. You should do Abaddon. You should wait. I gotta get over here and see it. You should do one to my ICU TikTok. Okay, Joyster, I will absolutely. Uh, message me and remind me though later when we when we're talking later. Message and remind me. Uh, I wore that shirt, but it looked like hell, so I didn't post it. Oh, Cherry snot. There is nothing in this world that you can wear that's going to look like hell, lady. So fix your hair, put your makeup on, get your stuff done, and put your shirt on. <laughs> I know, I know. I saw that. I saw, I saw. I, I came in late. I know. Um, I missed the show, but I came in afterwards, and I saw it, and I messaged him, messaged him and everything. It was, like, so awesome. He was wearing my, my shirt. And uh, and matter, matter of fact, Mungie's the reason I did this. Uh, Mungie, Mungie had his shirts uh, hung up in behind him, and I was like, you know what? I should hang mine up too, just to show what I have so far. I can't wait till I have them all. I'm missing a couple, so I gotta order them online. <coughs> <coughs> Absolutely. We're gonna get to get there. So I have y'all on the iPad in front of me, so I can actually see it, and I'm still trying to look at the tag on computer. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, he said he read his cards and he gave me a shout out too and he was wearing my shirt. That's awesome. Liz, I've been telling everybody to go to Spencer's Gifts, but the truth is Spencer's has dropped the ball so hard on my shirts that, you know, being unknowledgeable and, and not having placement outright and everything that I'm going to tell everybody now, just go to cultofools.com. So up there, oh wait, it's over there. Go to cultofools, cultofools.com which will take you to Big Chris Arts, 
and order them from there and they'll be sent straight to your house and uh and the size that you want they also have a better selection of sizes on the website as well so courtney you need to message me before you go live to make sure i'm awake because that is my biggest thing i don't sleep normal like normal people i sleep when i can so i i literally lay down for an hour or two naps three or four times a day um throughout the day and night like i probably sleep about five four to four to let's say four to six hours in a 24-hour period and it's never all at once so message me yourself the beauty the world saves the beauty value yourself the world wants be absolutely that is an amazing good uh that that's great nick absolutely 100 percent truth uh hi zoe how are you it's good to see you lola good to see you uh our special says they're not going to get them they probably already have them joyster this is what we've ran into in the problem that the problem we have and what q's calling corporate on on today monday whatever today is today monday tomorrow monday Today's Monday, so today, she's gonna call them today. And the problem is, is the people aren't knowledgeable. So people go in and say, hey, do you have the Cult of Fool shirts, the clown shirts, and like, uh, no, we don't have those, we're not getting those. And then the person goes out and looks and digs in the shelves and finds them because they totally dropped the ball on putting that out. Yeah, okay, that 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 shirt is, that that is a funny picture there, Cherry. <laughs> you should post that one, 100%, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. Go check out cultofools.com, which will take you to Big Chris uh, Arts, and you can order the shirt in the size you need. That, that's that's the best pick of the day I've seen so far, Trey. That's hilarious. So absolutely go to there, get your stuff. Barbie's eating breakfast, it looks like. She didn't bring me no food. She's still grounded. We're doing good, Zoe. Doing good. So uh, you just popped in, so let me let me catch you up here. If you look at this camera right here, you can see that I've got some makeup up here. Uh, and the reason I did the face reveal the other day is because I'm going to be teaching people about the makeup, about prosthetics, how to put them on, how to do makeup, and how to 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 um, really grow your character, like we talked about the other day, uh, how to uh, to to um, create and and grow your character into something that you want. Yeah, you, yeah. I, look, I've seen now. There's I've, three live feeds. It's been three live feeds where I've seen people go in and tell them what they they should already know with their job. I'm not going on my weekend Spencer's trip. My God, I could have slapped the dude with a vibrator with the arm. I know, I know. You told me. I know. That's why we're talking about it today. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been ridiculous. It's absolutely been ridiculous. Um. So yeah, that's why I've been telling people, just go to the cult of fools .com. If Spencer's wants to act this way, then I will I won't send people to Spencer's. I'll send them to the to the website instead. So inaudible, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. That's what we're getting. Um the the one that killed me um was well, there was a live feed yesterday where um somebody went to the Cult of Fools or went to the Spencer's and asked the girl, and the girl's like, I don't know. I know, I know, I know. Maybe they're in the back, and I'm gonna go look in the back. And she walks in the back, and then we find all the shirts online. We find all the shirts just like crammed in the middle of the no, no placards up. And I know they have the signage. I've seen it at all the stores I've gone to before. I know they have the signage. I know they have everything. They just did not put the signage up and did not put the shirts out properly. You know. So yeah. So forget Spencer's. Go to cultofools.com. Uh. Go to abadonapolyon.com. You can scroll down. You got a link there as well, or you can also find my merch. Okay, so not I don't I don't have just the shirt, uh, which is there. I don't have just the shirt. I have a lot of merch of my own. If you go to uh, abadonapolyon.com, scroll down, you'll see merch. Go there and you'll see that I have a bunch of stuff too. Now I have to tell you a shameless plug for my child. There's a coffee cup in there that's twenty dollars that has my child's face and clown. My my child dressed up as a clown. It's a coffee cup. It is $20. This was her idea. This is her design. This is her money. If you buy that cup, that money goes directly to my child for whatever the child, my child needs. Um, she told me that she's selling them so she can put me in a good nursing home when I get older. Just saying. If you want me to be in a good nursing home, then go buy that cup. Okay? Please don't leave me hanging in a horrible nursing home. Okay? So... 
Yeah, the canvas collection is going to be really awesome too, and that's going to be available soon. If it's not, oh, actually, I think it is available now. I think you can go buy some. Yeah. So there's my shameless plugs. AbaddonApollyon.com. Scroll down, go to my merch, buy some merch. Go down to Cult of Fools, and you can go to the Big Chris, and you can get one of the beautiful shirts that Big Chris has drawn. Um, uh, they're not taught good retail trade. No, they're, nobody's. No, no. I haven't been to a store in ages where someone was actually knowledgeable. I went to Best Buy two days ago, and the person had no idea what they were talking about. Like the, it's like I don't know. Training, training with jobs are just so. It's not there anymore. It's insane. Uh, it's horrible. We need to be training our employees to be better employees, so they're knowledgeable about the stuff they have. You know what I mean? So, uh, soon as all right. So, we need to. Uh, if you're in a position of power in any type of position, I don't care where it's at, wherever your job is, please train the people below you. Please help them. Uh, yeah, Nick, no problem, man. I'm tired too. I'm got a phone call to make after I get done with this, and then I'll be out. I'll be bouncing for my, my next nap. Um, I love you all, Leanne. It was was it Lee? Was it you, Leanne? That was on the, on the live feed yesterday. I don't remember. I I, I blinked since then. <laughs> you have to train the boss in his job. That happens a lot too. Absolutely. So we're gonna wrap this up because I got a phone call to make. I just wanted to hop on here this morning and tell you all that I love you and tell you what's going to be happening with the live feeds. We're going, to, we're going to hold our positive messages every morning. And as well, we're going to talk about the makeups. Like I said, right over here, you can see my thumb in the picture um, with the makeups, the prosthetics, what to use, what to buy, where to get it from, uh, how to save money, how to develop your character, uh, costumes like for Midnight Mayhem Apparel, uh, all the way down to the dolls that we have the, the where, where do you get your dolls from and your lollipops and everything else and merch and how to set up merch and how to set up your stores and we're going to talk about everything over the next year so hopefully next halloween we'll have you guys all rolling out and all up with the with the big dogs you know what i mean uh heather uh i hope you're having an amazing morning this morning i missed chatting with you last night i, I, I had to go lay down so i apologize about that um Jessica, tell your little one I say good morning. Tell Elizabeth I say good morning as well. Uh, Courtney, tell your little one I say good morning. Yeah, I have a totally messed up, way messed up sleep schedule. Follow Magic D Clown, follow Joyster, follow Cherry Snot. Cherry Snot is in the Cults of Fools, by the way. So I'm gonna have something of hers up here eventually. There's, there's gonna be something Cherry Snot up here eventually. Probably a headache, but still. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Cherry. All right. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to leave this on this note. Uh, let's see. Let me find a good one. Uh, okay. So here's a good one. All right. Falling down is an accident. Staying down is a choice. All right? Strive to be the best person you can be every single day, and you will achieve this goal. Okay? You may not be the best person in the world, but you will be the best person. You will be the best you you can be, and that is what we all strive for. Keep being amazing. I love you all. Um, oh, May Dust, I told you yesterday. What did I tell you yesterday? We're all swimming in the same pond, and you are a beautiful fish. Okay, don't forget that. You're an amazing person, May Dust, and I love you. Um, so guys, I want you all to know that you're amazing and that you're worthy. And we're gonna do this together. We're gonna make this happen. I'll be getting with the, with each of you, or well, not every one of you, but I'll be getting a lot with you entertainers, and we'll put up some videos talking about what makeups you wear and so on and so forth, and we'll showcase those on the show as we develop the show. And this is gonna be the next year. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it, okay? We're going to have a lot of fun with it. I love each and every one of you. I like the fat kid in dodgeball. As soon as I find the picture, I am out of here. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Bye, guys. <laughs>